What is up YouTube, welcome to another episode and this is Gemma Junk, a series where we go and take the current team of the week, find a cheap or a discard price player and show you guys if they are worth you picking up. This week's player is on Kevin De Bruyne, De Bruyne however you want to pronounce his name, um, the Belgium guy that is on loan from Chelsea to Werder Bremen. And um, as you can see, some of his stats, most of them have now been pushed up into the green um, stats. Most of them before what in like orange, yellow, whatever color you want to say that is. So he's had some um, good increases. Reaction 75 to 84. Stamina is now 80 from 72. Uh, curve is 83 from 76. Free kick is now 82 instead of 75. So he's had a really nice increase. He's high medium work rate, five star weak foot, three star skills, and he is right footed. Um, some of his physical stats, which isn't that great, 70, uh, 64 strength, 68 acceleration. His balance now has gone up and his jumping has gone up, but the acceleration does hurt this player quite a bit and um, some of his other stats as well. So what is my opinion on uh, Kevin De Bruyne? Um, well, I had his normal card and I've got to say I was hugely impressed by it and that's why I definitely wanted to pick this guy up. Um, some of his increases are quite good. His shot power is now an 82 from a 75, which is a really tidy increase, to be honest. To just get into that 80, um, you know, from uh, you know a cam position is great because his long shots have also gone up from a 79 to 86. Um, I did try quite a few long shots and they weren't nothing special, but some of them did help out and create other chances for my other players. Um, a big area of his increases is his passing range. His short passing has gone up to 84 um, t from 80, so he's gone up 4 there. His long passing has also gone up from 82 to 86. And this does really tell the kind of player this is. Crossing has gone up from 77 to 80. So overall, he's had a nice increase. I can't deny it. His increase stats-wise are very good. I just don't really see that in the game. Um, I only played a couple of games with him and his his acceleration pace is always going to let him down. That is the biggest issue from that cam position. I would have loved to see him in a 4 triple 2 I think in a 4 triple 2 he could be a really good player because um, he's higher up. In this, he, he sits really deep and by the time he really gets up in the attack, I have to wait for him most of the time. Um, which isn't always ideal, but um, he's always there if you need him and he can get a chance. But most of them for me, he's either got out muscle too too quickly, he hasn't got the pace to take it on, or just his touches have been pretty pretty poor. So um, I've not been thoroughly impressed with him. I've got to say his passing range is beautiful, and that, if that's what you're going to use him for, I think he'd be perfect playmaker in the cam position. I've got to say, I loved his normal card. Loved it. I mean, I'm going to show you in a minute some of his stats. I played three games with Kevin De Bruyne, the inform. Did in any of those games, and they were all different games, quite high scoring affairs. Did not see him really do too much, apart from the neat one twos and stuff like that. If you want to play like him, go for Kevin De Bruyne. He's a decent player, but is he really worth. I paid around 13k. Is he really worth it compared to his normal card? And I've got his normal card, which I'm going to show here. And um, it's, you know, n not too uh, much different. And as you can see, bought him for 350 coins, three goals in five games. I just felt the normal card was felt a little bit quicker. I don't know. He felt a lot quicker on his normal card than he did in his form. I was a big, big fan of his normal card. His in form, I'm a little less. He feels quite slow. And in that cam position, he does struggle. The passing is good, though. So if you do want someone like that, or if you if you just want to abuse the over top through balls, which in FIFA 13 is so easy to do, then go and get Kevin De Bruyne. His passing range is, is immense. Do go and pick him up for that. But anything else, nothing special and probably not worth your time picking up. And so that is the end of the episode. If you have liked the episode, please do give it a like. It does help a lot. Also as well, um, if you've got a inform this week who is relatively cheap, put him in the um, comment below. Someone you would recommend for me to try because I might do another review by the end of this team of the week. Um, also as well, uh, do follow the links in my description to Facebook, Twitter and all that stuff. And I will see you again. Until next time, peace.